Join Kids Hat Family. Exploring the Animal Kingdom. Whoa, Tia! Look, the lion caught a deer. Can't they just eat plants? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, tofu! Lions are carnivores. What's that? Well, why not ask animal explorer Alex? Who is that? Hello, young adventurers. Welcome to an exciting journey through the animal kingdom. I am animal explorer Alex, and today we learn all about the different types of animals and what they like to eat. Are you ready for a wild exploration? Let's get started. Our first category is carnivores. These animals are the hunters of the wild. I am the king of the carnivores. Carnivores are meat eaters and they love to hunt other animals for their food. Lions, tigers, and wolves are some examples of carnivores. Next up, we have herbivores. These animals are the gentle grazers. I am the tall herbivore. Hmm, crunchy, yummy leaves. Herbivores are plant eaters and they enjoy munching on leaves, grass and fruits. Giraffes, deer and elephants are some examples of herbivores. Now let's meet the omnivores. They have a diverse taste in food. I am the happy omnivore. I like both. Omnivores eat both plants and meat. They enjoy a varied diet including fruits, vegetables, insects and even fish. Bears, raccoons and humans are some examples of omnivores. Here come the insectivores. They have a special love for insects. I am the hopping insectivore. Insectivores feed on insects like flies, ants and worms. They help keep the insect population in balance. Frogs, anteaters and some birds are insectivores. And there you have it young explorers. We've learnt about the different types of animals. Carnivores, herbivores, omnivores and insectivores. Each type has a unique diet and helps them survive and thrive in their habitats. Yay! We love, love eating, eating flesh! flesh. Yum. Yum! Fresh juicy, juicy grass, grass for us! Mmm! Mm, we like, like both, both flesh and, and leaves! Insects, 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 it, it is for us! So, the next time you see an animal, try to guess what type it might be based on what it likes to eat. Remember, every animal plays a vital role in the delicate balance of nature. Okay Tofu, now I have a pop-up quiz for you. Are you ready? Yay! Yes Tia, I am ready for the quiz. So, which category of animal is this? This is a lion and it is a carnivore. Excellent tofu! And what do carnivores eat? Carnivores eat flesh. Good job! Which category of animal is this? Uh, this is a giraffe and it is a herbivore. Excellent! And what do herbivores eat? Her herbivores eat plants. Awesome! 
And which category of animal is this? This is a bear and it is an omnivore. Good job, Tofu. And what do omnivores eat? Uh, omnivores eat both plant and flesh. Wow! The last one. What category of animal is this? This is a frog and it is an insectivore. Very good, Tofu. And what do insectivores eat? Insectivores feed on insects. Excellent job, Tofu. I am so proud of you. Thank you, Tia. Tia, look at that giant robot. Can I please buy it? I need one. Why do you need it, Tofu? You already have so many toys. But Tia, it's a limited edition robot toy. All my friends have it. Oh look, even that boy purchased it right now. But what is the need of doing what everyone else does? Tia, please. Oh, look Tofu. What happened, my dear friend? I wish to buy the whole toy shop someday when I grow up. You surely will one day. Oh wow, your new toy is so cool. Thank you. Do you want to play with it? Yes, yes, I would love to. Here, you can have it. What? I can keep your new toy? Yes, you can keep it. It's yours now. I just can't thank you enough. I never had a new toy in my life. People always gave me their old and broken toys. Well, you deserve a new toy too. This is yours now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. May God bless you always. Did you see that, Tofu? That boy gave his new toy to the poor child and walked away so joyfully. Yes, dear. Do you want to hear a beautiful story about kindness as we walk home? That would be great! The Purest Treasure Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there lived a poor gold miner named Jack. Every day, Jack would set out to work tirelessly, hoping to find some treasure that would change his life. One sunny day, just like any other, Jack sat down under a tall tree to enjoy his simple lunch of bread. As Jack started eating, he noticed a weak and hungry dog limping towards him. The poor pup had a sad expression in its eyes. Jack immediately felt a pang of sympathy for the dog and decided to share his food. He broke a piece of bread and gave it to the dog. The dog devoured the bread hungrily and looked up at Jack with gratitude. But it still seemed hungry. Jack's heart melted right there. Well, I can share the rest of my lunch with this little fellow. So Jack broke the remaining bread into pieces and handed them to the dog. The dog wagged its tail happily, appreciating Jack's kind gesture. After finishing the bread, the dog started barking and jumping around as if it wanted to show something to Jack. Curious, Jack decided to follow the energetic dog. The dog led him deep into the forest until they reached a hidden cave. Jack couldn't believe his eyes. The cave was filled with sparkling treasures of gold, silver and precious jewels. It was more than he had ever imagined finding. Overwhelmed with joy, Jack realized that he had been rewarded for his act of kindness towards the weak dog. He thanked the dog profusely and shared his newfound treasure with the loyal companion. From that day forward, Jack and the dog became the best of friends and lived a happy and prosperous life. That was such a sweet story, Tia. So what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that 
kindness is the purest treasure. That's right, Tofu. This story teaches us the importance of kindness and how it can lead to unexpected rewards. It encourages us to be compassionate and helpful towards others, as even small acts of kindness can make a big difference in someone's life. I will always keep this purest treasure with me, Tia. Very well, Tofu. Hey, Tofu! Look, let's jump into the pile of dry leaves. It will be fun. Yay! Let's jump. Hey, hey we fooled you. Ah, I hurt my head. This was not funny, boys. Hey Tofu, what happened? Tia, Bill and Jack tricked me into jumping inside a pit, and I hurt myself so badly. Oh no! Come here, Tofu. Let me have a look. Look, Tofu. Bill faced the consequences of his actions. <laughs> that must have hurt so bad. Poor Bill. Well, he got his reward. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me up, Tia. No problem. Do you want to hear a story? Yes, please. The wolf in the sheep's skin. Once upon a time, in a peaceful countryside, there lived a cunning wolf who was always on the lookout for a delicious meal. He had a devious plan to catch some sheep, but the vigilant shepherds made it difficult for him to get close to the flock. However, the wolf's determination to satisfy his hunger was unwavering. Those shepherds are always watching. I need to come up with a clever plan. One night, while wandering through the fields, the wolf stumbled upon a sheepskin that had been discarded after shearing. Ah, this could be my ticket to a feast. The next day, the wolf disguised himself by wearing the sheepskin and approached the pasture where the sheep were peacefully grazing. A curious little lamb spotted the new sheep and innocently started following him. Hello there! Are you new to our flock? Yes, indeed. I am just a friendly sheep looking for some company. That's wonderful! Let's play together! The lamb was unaware of the wolf's intentions. Hence, seizing the opportunity, the wolf swiftly pounced on the unsuspecting lamb and devoured it. Delicious! The perfect disguise worked like a charm. Later that evening, as dusk settled, the wolf had another wicked idea. He decided to infiltrate the shepherd's fold, hoping to blend in with the flock and satisfy his hunger once again. It's time to choose a sheep for tonight's meal. The shepherd, unaware of the wolf's deceitful plan, entered the fold and caught the first sheep he laid his hands on, which happened to be the wolf disguised as a sheep. Oh no! I've been discovered! What? This isn't a sheep, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Realizing his mistake, the shepherd swiftly put an end to the wolf's wicked schemes and protected the rest of the flock from his harm. So Tofu, the moral of the story is that the evildoer often comes to harm through his own deceit. I get it now. That's good. This story teaches us the consequences of deceitful actions. It highlights that those who engage in deceit and harm others will often face their own downfall. 
I will always be honest, kind and considerate, dear. Good boy, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.